Alright! Back! We're back on it! We're back, we're back on it! I, I sort of skipped on these for a while, because I got tied up in a bunch of crap, as you know. So, let's get back on board so I can catch up with these, because I owe at least five or six people still. Uh, so, yeah, let's do it! Fuck, yeah, damn it! Alright, this, today's my review is going out to a guy by the name of Brandon Bennett! Who really wants me to review Golden Axe, because... Because, I, I don't know, shit, fucking Golden Axe, man, it's, it's Golden Axe, and, 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 and you're never gonna believe this even when I tell you, but up until now, just for this review, I had never played Golden Axe, I, I, I didn't grow up on the game at all, uh, and, and I know that sounds really weird, because I'm like the Genesis guy, I'm the Sega man, I, you know, I, I go in, I'm just like, hey, I, 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 the Genesis is awesome, that's my favorite console of all time, but never played Golden Axe, which is considered a classic on the console. So you think I would have, you know, talked about it or mentioned it or played it at some point, but no, I've I've never, ever, ever played it, uh, unfortunately. I played this though, and that sucked. So let's not even talk about that today. All right, so so the game is a beat 'em up, side scroller beat 'em up. I believe it was also in the arcades, and it's actually really good. Um, it's simple but effective, and it, it, it was very similar to a lot of games that were out at the time, such as Double Dragon. The comparisons that I kept drawing were between this and Streets of Rage 2, which is my favorite beat 'em up of all time. And I, I kept doing that, and it's really, really unfair of me to do, and I knew it when I was, e even, even when I was doing it, because this came out before Streets of Rage 2, and, and, and as a result, it, it's not quite as, as polished, it's not quite as good as that game is. Um, not because of, of, you know, any, any detrimental things going into the production, but simply because, it, you know, it's older. It was an early launch on the, on the Genesis. And as a result, it suffers, you know, things that would be rectified in later installments in the same genre. In Street of Rage 2, for example, the one thing that really bothered me about this game was the music, which really isn't that good. Um, even by its own standards at the time, if you compare this game's music to, like, Sonic 1, it's not even close to the same kind of quality, um, which is unfortunate, and it sort of ruined the game for me. And again, I was comparing it to Street of Rage 2, and, and that game's music, well... Yeah, so, that's not fair, uh, but, you know, like I said, even for the time, the music isn't great, but, you know, I guess it's passable, it's fine, I mean, it's not terrible, it's just not great, it's just not outstanding, which is unfortunate. Graphics for the time are fine, though, uh, completely reasonable, the visuals are good, uh, and the gameplay, as I said, is simple but effective, it's a fun beat-em-up game, hack-and-slash sort of deal, um, you get various potions to use magic, and rain down FIRE FROM THE HEAVENS! <laughs> Okay, uh, let's pretend like I never did that, and, uh, move on. Uh, my only real big complaint, like, besides the music, is that the game is very, very, very simple. Like, almost too simple. It's effective, yes, but, you know, most of your attacks are a single button, and uh, combos do sort of exist, but not really? Uh, it's... It, it, it almost devolves into a bit of a button masher if you didn't need to avoid sh shots so often. Also, a bigger problem I have with this game is that it's really fucking hard. It's it's not really hard, but it's hard enough that it bugged me. I, I I mean I mean if you really want a challenge, go for it. Uh, this game will beat your ass, especially in the later levels. Uh, for comparison, I can usually get to level four or five before I have to use my first continue in Streets of Rage two. Um, in this game, I got to level four and then game over. So. Consider that for a moment. Um, it, it could also have to do with me, you know, not being, you know, well versed in the game itself. But I did feel like this game was a lot more difficult than the other beat em ups I've played in my time. It doesn't help that a lot of the bosses you fight can knock you down in just three hits, which is really, really obnoxious. I've also heard that the final boss of this game, which I haven't gotten to myself, is basically impossible. So there's that to consider. But still, it's a really solid game, and it's a lot of fun, especially in co-op. So I highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of old-school Genesis games and you haven't given this one a try. And I recommend Street of Rage 2, because that game fucking rocks. But but this one's good too! This one's great, and you should you should totally play it. But not this, no, do not play that! This- God, no, ah, get it off! Jesus Christ, no, damn, ah, ah. But Golden Ash is a good game, you should, you should play it, yeah. Till next time, this is Darkness, individual fun, farewell.